Rome's infamous emperor. Hey everyone, welcome back to History Passion. Today we're diving into Imperial Rome to meet one of history's most controversial figures, Nero, the infamous emperor. Rise to power. Born in 37 AD, Nero was the son of Agrippina Minor, great-niece of Augustus, and Nius Domitius Arhanobarbus. He was adopted by his uncle, Emperor Claudius, and became heir to the throne. Nero became emperor at the age of 17, greeted as an enlightened prince. The early years of his reign were relatively peaceful and prosperous, thanks to the influence of his advisor Seneca. The tyrant takes over. However, things took a dark turn after the death of Agrippina in 59 AD. Nero, increasingly insecure and paranoid, began to indulge his darker side. He got rid of Seneca and other advisors, persecuted Christians, and unleashed a series of repressions against the Senate and Roman aristocracy. The Great Fire of Rome 64 AD, a devastating fire ravaged Rome. Nero, accused of starting the fire to rebuild the city to his own megalomaniacal design, unleashed a vicious persecution against Christians, burning them alive as human torches. The Vindex and Galba Rebellion Nero's atrocities fueled discontent throughout the empire. In 68 AD, General Julius Vindex revolted in Gaul, followed by Galba, governor of Spain. Abandoned by his Praetorian Guard, Nero committed suicide in 68 AD, at the age of 31. Monster or victim of a conspiracy? Was Nero really the monster that Roman historiography depicted him as? Tradition has portrayed him as the emperor who burned Rome down and played the liar while the city burned. However, recent historiographical studies question this version, opening up new perspectives on this controversial figure. What was his role in the Great Fire of Rome? Nero was out of Rome when the fire broke out. He was in Antium, a seaside resort, and could not have returned to the capital in time to start the fire. Upon his return to Rome, he immediately took action to help the population. He opened the imperial palaces to house the homeless, distributed food and water, and organized the reconstruction of the city. A plot against Nero These new elements suggest that Nero may have been the victim of a plot orchestrated by his enemies, who accused him of the fire to discredit him and seize power. Some alternative hypotheses point to political or religious groups, such as the Christians, who were persecuted at the time, as being responsible for the fire. The truth still uncertain. Despite new research, the truth about the fire in Rome remains uncertain. Studying Nero and his time is an invitation, not to be satisfied with a superficial view of history, and to always question the official versions. The search for truth, even if elusive, is a fundamental exercise in understanding the past and the present. Nero remains a controversial and fascinating figure in Roman history. His tyranny and atrocities left an indelible mark, but his reign was also marked by moments of peace and prosperity. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more history videos. Thanks for watching.